Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back to a brand new HMS Speed News video. My first video in a pretty long, 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 long time. And uh, yeah, guys, we're finally back. And uh, today we're going to be talking about Johan Zarco. Now, obviously, we know Johan Zarco for the last uh, for the last couple months, so pretty much ever since he hopped onto the, uh, the KTM mic, he has struggled uh very much uh you know to get results on that bike compared to his teammate paul spargo and it obviously has led to him uh getting replaced uh by mika cali which was definitely not in his plans uh i would imagine when he first signed that contract obviously two-year contract i believe it was for the ktm team and uh, he was going to leave after his first season but eventually got replaced uh, not too long ago by Mika Calio. So obviously he is now rideless. You know he, he does have test duties, I do believe, with the uh, with the Red Bull KTM team. But obviously he is looking for a ride next season. And uh, Lynn Jarvis, uh, you know the leader of Yamaha, came out the other day and said they were in talks with Joan Zarco once again. Obviously when Joan Zarco first rocked up to uh, MotoGP uh, on the Tech Three bike, he did look like a promising talent. Uh, pretty much like Fabio Cartuara is uh, this season uh, doing the same thing. Obviously, it's not a Tech 3 anymore. It is the, uh, the Sapang International Racing Team, but um, similar styled bike, you know, the satellite Yamaha. And, uh, and we saw how well Joan Zarco went on that bike. You know, Joan Zarco's style uh, on a Yamaha works pretty well. It's pretty smooth riding style. And also that KTM is a bit more of an aggressive bike. Obviously, you compare Pole's style uh, with Joan Zarco's very different styles and you could just see how uh Zarko just couldn't get the results on that bike compared to what he did in the previous season for Yamaha and um yeah they are in talks with the uh with the French rider for a test role uh for 2020 and who knows maybe that could lead to a return uh, in the future for 2021 maybe if Rossi retires or you know anything really uh could lead to him returning it would be quite uh, quite funny really seeing obviously because Yamaha's test rider at the moment is Jonas Folger and obviously if uh, Zarko goes into a test role that would be uh, quite funny you know having the two Tech 3 teammates uh, a couple years back uh, now teammates in the test role for the Yamaha team um, that would be quite interesting uh, to see but um, yeah guys what is your thoughts on it all do you think uh, we'll see Jovan Zarko back in MotoGP in a couple years time maybe even next season who knows uh, or do you think that we'll see him in the test role and uh, probably you know popping up a couple rounds or two with some wild cards who knows leave it down in the comments and uh, we'll make sure to read them all and talk about it and uh, we'll, we'll inform you when anything official comes out obviously on the channel and our you know uh, social pages and stuff and uh, and all that stuff so uh, yeah guys hopefully you enjoyed the video leave a like and subscribe for more content as always and i'll see you with a brand new video very soon